Hello everyone and welcome to the sequence. Today we will be discussing cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy, which is also known as catacil. Catacil is a fatal genetic disorder that causes degeneration of vascular tissue in the brain. To learn more about this interesting disease, let's consult the computer. Catacil is caused by a point mutation on chromosome 19 and the NACH3 gene. The NACH3 gene makes the NACH3 receptor protein that helps form certain cells throughout the body, most importantly the vascular and muscle cells. When that gene is mutated, the protein does not maintain the muscle cells correctly. Gradually, vascular tissue is destroyed and the surrounding muscle cells destroy the blood vessels surrounding them. The blood vessels in the brain are slowly destroyed also. The point mutation in the gene creates an abnormal shape of the NACH3 protein. The aforementioned degeneration of the vascular smooth cells result in the loss of blood flow to the brain and heart. Due to the loss of blood flow to the brain and heart, the patient may experience symptoms such as increased risk in heart attack and stroke, migraines, and behavioral abnormalities. These complications cause other symptoms such as cognitive disturbance, epileptic seizures, memory loss, dementia, impaired vision, and hemiparesis, which is paralyzation of one side of the body. Symptoms usually don't appear until middle age, between 40 and 50 years old, or earlier. The disorder is usually diagnosed at this time when the patient is around 40 to 50 years old. After the onset of these symptoms, fatality will normally occur in 10 to 20 years although death has occurred in some patients before 10 years and after 20 years. This disorder is inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern. This means that if you have one copy of the disease allele, you will have the disease. The likelihood that the offspring of the affected parent will have the disease is 50%. Catacil does not appear to be more common in certain environments or geographical areas, nor does it appear to be more common in certain genders, or ethnic groups because this disorder has been found all over the world. There are ways to diagnose this disorder. If a patient has a stroke-like symptoms before the age of 60, behavioral abnormalities, migraine with aura, and cognitive disturbances, these show signs of catacil. Also through an MRI, a person can look for abnormalities in the white matter of the temporal pole the genetic test for this disease can be administered by the use of sequence analysis. A doctor is able to search for sequence alterations in the NOTCH3 gene. It has approximately a 95% or higher success rate. Since this disease was so recently discovered, statistics on the frequency of the disease are unknown. However, it is estimated that 2 in every 100,000 people are diagnosed each year. Unfortunately, this disorder cannot be cured. There is no known procedure to treat catacil but medicines can be taken to make symptoms less severe. Anticoagulants can be used to help slow the disease down and may help prevent strokes. The only future prospect for treatment right now is testing of a new drug called Donepacil HCL. Tests for this are going on right now. This drug may prevent strokes. Until a cure is discovered, the fatal symptoms will continue to cause the patient to suffer through years of intense pain and confusion brought on by severe migraines and developing mental problems. It will become a necessity for the family to engage in extensive care for the patient.